the Tunisian boomerang show. Sorry about my voice, but I have a little bit of cold on my throat. So we use a four millimeter crochet hook, a Tunisian crochet hook is about 30 centimeters long. This color I will be using is dark pink, light pink, light gray up to dark gray. It's a candy by Stanley Yarns and today we'll make this boomerang show. Let's get started. I packed a skein out of the plastic and we start out of the middle. That way you can pull out of the yarn out of the skein easily. I put the skein on the floor and now just leave this little heart on the yarn. Now we start off with making a slip knot on the hook like you do usually with crocheting. So here it is. Now we'll chain three chains. One, two and number three. Now you go in the back bump of the loop. So not the front but the back. So turn it over towards you and here you see the back bump. Pick up a loop and stop. Now in the next, so you leave the loop on the hook and you go to the next back bump. It's a bit harsh here. Here it is. Pick up the loop and pull it up. Now you've got three loops on the hook. Now what we do is left side must be straight and the right side will be diagonal. So first pull through one loop, yarn around and pull through two loops, yarn around and pull through two loops. That is the first Tunisian row. Now you go up on the right side with two stitches and on the left side we decrease with one stitch. So we put two loops, two chains on and we go to the second chain from the loop, from the hook and put your hook underneath two loops like this. Yarn around and pull the loop up. Leave it on the hook and you go to the next here. Stick your hook between the two legs and go to the back like this. Yarn around and pull the loop up. That's a Tunisian net stitch. Next stitch here again between two legs stick your hook to the back pull up the yarn and pull up the loop. And then the border stitch here underneath two loops and pull the yarn up. Now I've got five loops on the hook. One, two, three, four and five. So we increase two and we decrease one. So what we do is yarn around and pull the hook through two loops. Normally you will pull through one, but we need a decrease here. So that way we go through two loops like this. And you keep on continuing up until you have one loop on your hook. So yarn around and pull through two. Yarn around and pull through two yarn around and pull through two. That's the second row we've done now. Now you have increased with one stitch in plus instead of two. Now you chain only one and we go back to the second stitch. That is here. So stick, put your hook through towards to the back and pull up that loop between the two legs. So now it increased with one. Now again stick your hook through and pull up the loop. Stick your hook through and pull up the loop. And here is the stitch where you have three legs, so one, two and three. Because we pulled through two loops in the beginning, I put your hook underneath those three loops and pull up the loop. Now we only go through one loop, like this, and then through two up until you have one loop left on the hook. So this is through two and through two and pull through two and pull through two. Now we do an increase again. So a chain two, one and two chains. Go to the second chain and put your hook underneath two loops and pull up the yarn. Two loops and hook to the border stitch here. Pull your hook through the back and pull up and continue up until the last stitch. That will be the border stitch and in the border stitch you put your hook underneath two legs of the stitch like this and pull up. Since we put two loops on the right side we chain two so we increase two it will decrease one. So 
yarn around and pull through two and yarn around pull through two yarn around pull through two yarn around and pull through two yarn around pull through two yarn around and pull through two so this row we've chained two now we chain one and go to the border stitch here put your hook through and pull up the loop so you stick your hook between the two legs towards the back here is the next stick your hook through and pull up the loop and the next stitch and so on up to the last stitch again our three legs so here one two and number three put your hook underneath all three legs and pull up that loop that way you get a nice border now pull through one because we had one chain on the right side and pull through two up until you have only one stitch left on your hook or one loop so when you start with a chain two on the right side you will pull through two loops on the left side when you make one chain on the right side you pull through one loop first and then through two up until you have one stitch left on the hook that is actually the only repeats you do so one row you make on the right side chain two and stick your hook in the second stitch from the hook and on the row backwards you will pull your hook through two loops again here two loops on the right side means through two on the left and so on and so on so this is the first repeating row and the second repeating row is chain one and then pull through one loop on the left side and then pull through two you see right now that it goes diagonal and you get a boomerang shape every row you will get eventually one stitch more we've got now eight stitches on this row we started with three so every row you add one more this was the row we add up chain two now we add up chain one and pull the yarn up towards the last stitch and in the last stitch should be the three legs so you put your hook underneath three legs and then the row backwards you pull through one and then pull through two pull through two pull through two and so on up until you have one stitch left on the hook here's the border stitch so underneath three loops so we add up one so you pull through one here and pull through two up until you have one stitch left on the hook that is the only repeat you will do up until your skein is almost empty so now this is the row again with chain two in the second loop from the hook you put your hook through and then in the border stitch and all the stitches that you have to do right now like this put you through to the back between the two legs if you need to know how uh, to make the Tunisian net stitch I do have a tutorial on my uh, YouTube channel you can see into that one if you if you need it so I'll put the link below I put on the right side two chains so on the left side to pull through two directly up until you have one stiff le stitch left on the hook And here I am now chain one is the second repeating row and then pick up the stitches as we have done before and since the previous row was two adding and two off then you will have in this row the three legs where you need to put your hook underneath I'm almost there here I am one two and three and pull up so we add one so we start with pull through one and then pull through two pull through two so one row you chain two and you start with the backwards row with pull through two and the second row you may make a chain one and you pull through one loop in the backwards row those are the two repeats to be repeated up until your skein is almost empty this skein has about 900 meters it's then the yarns is full cotton recommended hook size is 
three and a half or four millimeter crochet hook.